Hello, Cancer. How are you doing? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Because we're listening for what? Love. Yes, I hope you're doing super fun. Timeless, we're going to jump into these reads. If you're new to my channel, where the hell have you been? We have been waiting for you. Hopefully you like it here. You'll hit that, that like, that share, maybe subscribe. Maybe come hang out with me on Instagram. We go live on Instagram Usually Tuesdays or Wednesdays around 5 36 p.m. Central, put on the alerts. We get on there and we do readings for 11 11, 22 22. We have a great time. You meet a whole bunch of new people, and it's just a vibe. And you can also follow me on TikTok if you like. All right. So if you ever want a reading from me, just know that you have to click my link tree. I will not contact you. I work three jobs. <laughs> I'm like, I'm super busy. So if you're a returning family member, ya tu sabes, big big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. Yes. So the way these readings are going to go, we're going to go into a general, we're going to go into a singles, couples, and then all signs, Pisces to, I mean, Aries to a Pisces. So what's going on upstairs? We have on the second new moon, solar eclipse in Libra. Yes, yes, yes. And this is all about the home, baby. You are like, wait, we got to get our home in order. We got to get a new home. We got to do this. We got to get everything. And you just want to make everything different, right? Now, on the 9th, Jupiter retrograde and 21 degrees Gemini, all right? October 11th. Pluto, the planet. Yes, I said planet, okay? I'm old. Anyways, this planet is going direct, 29 degrees Capricorn. 29 degrees is a lot of Capricorn energy. Oh, it's a lot, okay? And Capricorn is about getting it right and getting it together. And usually when you have 29 degrees in your chart, you're like really um, in a rush to do something. And I feel like Pluto's like, I'm ready to take it all down. We're about to make sense of everything, okay? Now, with that being said, on the 13th, Mercury enters into Scorpio. Yes, big baby, we're going to be talking some freaky deaky and deep stuff over here transformative energy i must say and on the 17th full moon in aries also venus entering into sag so those sagittarius's are going to be looking mm, 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 delicious now this full moon is actually making you feel a lot of compassion you're really wanting to heal things and move forward okay possibly a lot of getting things in order all right, now on the 22nd, let's call up some sexy Scorpios and take them out for drinks because it's their season. All right, so with that being said, let's jump into this. We have your astrological card as a Jupiter. Okay, where is Jupiter in your chart? What's going on? But this is about big blessings coming in and enhancements. But understand that we can enhance both positive or negative or whatever energies we're exuding. But this energy is telling you, what do you want in abundance? What do you want to do? How do you want to be? This is a very beautiful energy coming in now the 23rd could be very important for you and I would recommend that if you're trying to you know bring some luck in your life which I really do think you're wanting to get lucky and love all right this sign right here of Jupiter on a green candle baby will bring in some money some abundance show me the money okay now Let's go ahead and talk about this card. Serendipity is coming in for you and when it comes to love. And this is about being at the right place at the right time. I do think that it's really important for you to just find yourself just doing you, being you. And then all of a sudden, what it is that you want, how you want it is going to show up. I also feel like green is going to be a very important color for you this month because of all the green here and all the green over here with the elephants. Mr. Elefante is coming in and it says open up yourself to true abundance. So there is something about abundance wanting to come in for you. Abundance in love, abundance in compassion and, and just feeling whole and secure, okay? Now, elephant energy is kind of telling you, like, read the vibrations of the room, feel the vibrations, okay? Because the elephants have really large ears, but they feel the energy first before they can even hear it. They feel it in their feet. So a lot of grounding is going to be necessary, and I do feel like there's going to be a lot of heart chakra healing this month for you, a lot of taking it easy and embracing. There could be a lot of even just connecting with children this month and really, like, making the home a very special place for you, all right? Another thing with elephant energy, there are some 
some um, obstacles that have been in the way that are going to be removed, okay? Now, this is telling you, you have, this fall is a big time for you, baby. Get ready when it comes to love. And um, you also have the seventh house being highlighted with the, with, with the force, okay? With the seven of forces. And this energy is basically coming in for you to really balance your needs and balance things out for yourself. You're moving to the next level. Things are becoming very important for you, especially in the home setting. There's going to be a lot of legal talk and a lot of balance needed moving into the fall okay so let's jump into just a general reading and we're going to be using los gatitos because i like them okay so immediately we have the moon coming out for you and this moon energy is coming in this could have been you know highlighted with that new moon solar eclipse okay uh, in Libra, but there's some something coming to the forefront when it comes to love. Major decisions. The moon by judgment. This is basically saying like, you got some explaining to do. You got some deciding to do. Okay, major choices. And I like that he's between the two towers, so you could be even choosing on a new home. All right. Now, there is an offer with the Knight of Cups coming in. He's a little mischievous little kitty cat, right? And we're a little conflicted on how we want to move forward with the Five of Wands and overall the Five of Swords. And now, what I find really interesting is we have that beautiful star in the back. We have that new moon. And over here, we have the new moon. I do think that you're very conflicted on how you want to make these changes with the number 55 coming in. That 555 five, five could be very important if you're seeing that because that's significant to things really changing. The overall energy is the nine of wands. And here, he's he has been through the ringer, baby. Okay, he has been he from, ripped up from the root of toodle toodle, baby. He don't even got an eye no more. And neither does this one. So I kind of feel like maybe seeing things from a new perspective is going to be highly important for you. And I do see a move coming in for you. If not this month, we're going to be talking about it with that double nine, okay? The 18 and the nine. Judgment, give me clues. What's going on here? We have the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is coming through. That's you. You're making this major decision. Like I said, there could have been something with a child or someone that's younger than you with the Knight of Cups. And it's something like huge that's coming in because it's the tower, all right? So we are really, this might be an offer you couldn't even imagine coming in. The double fives are telling you don't get stuck, don't get in your own way, all right? And don't get tangled up with um, a karmic, all right? Because we want to initiate new things and new beginnings. You have fought long enough, hard enough for whatever it is that's coming through and love is on the way. Now, let's, I forgot to look at your um, overall energies. Like, where, what are they thinking? When it comes to love, what are they paying attention to? We have commitment is on the horizon for you guys. We also have trusting your intuition. And I also feel like that's what this Queen of Cups is doing when she's over the judgment. She is trusting her intuition moving forward. And we have a spy. Why you peeping me? Everybody knows that I'm a G. Ew, ew. Everybody is watching you. They're watching your social media. They want more information about you. What is this commitment about? We have a soulmate entering, so we do have a soulmate connection, trusting our intuition on our abundance, on our finances, and the spy, yeah, they're, they're definitely watching your social media, they're reminiscing, they're like, damn, Cancer, I remember when we used to be together, and Cancer said, I don't give a damn, because I'm out living my best life, all right? So, lots of interesting energy coming in for you. I do see a sudden move with the double nine in the tower. Also, trusting your intuition moving forward. Major decisions, and you are going to be realizing this read is for you when you start seeing the number 555 five, five in those situations, okay? Got to get the cards over here. So, let's move over here, and let's go into our beautiful singles. What's going on with our singles? And we're ready to mingle. All right. Intuition is on the forefront, baby. We've got to trust it, okay? We're going to go on a date night. Ew, 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 okay? And open up your heart, my love. Enjoy love, okay? Because someone's got a confession. They got something to tell you, baby. They got, oh, they don't even know how to tell you, baby. You look so good, Cancer. And they like it. All right? They like it. 
Intuition. What do we have coming in? We got that phone call. Okay. An expression of love coming in. For the date night, the relationship is over. Get ready to be wined and dine. No second chances. What's dead is dead. So you do feel like this is like you're giving up on a situation that maybe you were pouring a lot of energy into. And you're like, you know what? F it. I'm going to go out on this date and I'm going to have a good time with somebody new. And opening up your heart but also enabling your boundaries and not settling is going to be very important and somebody is just super happy with you you are their paradise baby they just can't get enough of you i like this cancer my venus is in cancer can i take some of this read hopefully it's good right all right let's see here what's coming in for our beautiful cancerian sun moon rising and venus because we're listening for what for love we are leaving something behind with the Ten of Wands. We are moving forward. No more, no more heavy emotions over here. There's that moon again. So the moon is very heavy for you. You're coming out in the middle of your read. Very Cancer vibes. She's going into her emotions around that full moon. Okay? And she is like getting ready. Ready, ready, ready. Okay? To go out. <laughs> okay? She's ready to go out and have a good time. The Three of Cups. So I feel like you've been in your emotions long enough. Some of you are planning on going like on a, like a friend's trip or something like that. You should go. It'll be fun. We are releasing the Four of Cups, releasing that sadness that I'm never going to find it. We're releasing that and we are stepping into our power. We're illuminating with justice, moving forward and overall the complete packet. So very beautiful energy coming in. Double 10 in your read. There is this thing about work. Maybe possibly there's some things going on at work. You should really be sprucing up your a resume, baby, because everybody wants a piece of cancer. But it like a private dancer. All right, the Ten of Wands is telling you the Six of Wands. You're leaving something definitely behind. You're moving up, moving out and it's getting better okay and i want to say if you meet someone they're gonna really like like your bumpies okay they really like a, a lot all right and there's a lot of kissing and like excitement on the horizon the moon wants you to know the king of swords okay and this king of swords is very interesting because he doesn't seem very enthused about what's going on and i almost want to say like you are leaving that behind and i also feel like you're like, look, I'm not, I'm not going to keep pouring into something that doesn't pour back into me. It's just not any fun, okay? I got to be stronger. I got to do better. I got to stop running to the phone call every time they answer. And I see you going out with your friends, enjoying yourself, and initiating something new with the Ace of Swords, like something super new and exciting with the Three of Cups. So you could have options also. There's something about the number 313 also coming in for you. And I also think like there's this thing about wanting, you're gonna go out. Like some of y'all are going out with your friends and you meet someone very, very special. You guys are gonna find out that you have a lot more in common than you thought you did, okay? Okay, all right, especially in the bathroom. Bedroom, the Four of Cups with the Empress. So I feel like you're releasing the energy of maybe chasing something. And the girl with the snake is showing up and she's like, enable your boundaries. And she is like, you can look. Look at what's on her, her totos on the stick. You can look, my friend. Huh. But you can't touch. All right. Boundaries. And justice is telling you they're going to be so mad that you moved on without them. And yes, there is something new coming to you with the Knight of Cups. And I also feel that you're leaving. There's some of y'all who have been like really thinking about an ex lately. Or, and you're like, how could they have done this? How could they have done this to me? And this is going to be that month that you completely break free from that energy and realize that you are the Ten of Pentacles with the sun, that you are a prize to be had, that you are everything wonderful and great, and you deserve to be treated that way. And I do, you know, even if you don't meet this person this month that makes you feel like, oh, butterflies. I feel like you're like making major life decisions to say, look, I'm no longer chasing. I attract. I'm moving forward and I don't need this. I do think the 10th is going to be very important for you. And the third. So definitely the third, the fourth and the fifth, the seventh, ninth, 10th, 18th and 23rd coming in for you. All right. So let's see. I'm going to look to see. Um, 
let's look to see with this this person that you're having trouble like you if this ain't for everybody if you find yourself in a situation where you're having trouble getting over somebody you know you're having trouble getting over them what is what is going on in this situation Time. It was a matter of time. Um, there was a lot of gossip. Maybe you run in the same circles with this individual and it's just causing you to become overwhelmed. And there was a lot of dishonesty on either your part or their part and it's time to move forward. It's time to just release that and let it go. Sometimes no matter how much you try to fix things, it just, just wasn't meant to be, right? Um, they do miss your smile. They do, they do think about you. They fantasize about you and they want to reach out to you, but they don't really know how to because they know it was not good, right? They do want to have a future with you, but that this is the lying is what ripped y'all apart. And whether it was them lying or them listening to the lies, it tore everything apart. And this is probably one of those things that is best to just like Develop a plan to move forward and be happy, all right? So let's get clues on who's coming in for you. Who is a good match for cancer right now? Who's a good match for cancer? We have the gentleman. I want to say a nice, tall, dark, and handsome Taurus energy, all right? Then we have a Leo energy with the sun. And I feel like this person is very fair, like very bright, um, super charming, um, fun to be around. And then we have the ring, okay? So this person has a very round face. This individual also, let me make sure I'm telling you the right things. This individual is very fair, um, Libra energy. So we have one very tall, dark, and handsome, Taurus, um, fair-skinned Leo, fair-skinned Leah, Leah, Libra. And then we have Libra again, petite, uh, petite, small features, mousy features, all right? The 23rd is going to be important. Because he keeps coming out for you. They have great hair because the bouquet keeps showing up for you. The bouquet is showing up. So they have great hair, great skin. They're a looko, baby. All right. The gentleman wants you to know they are, I want to say they either work outside or like a building and things like that. Um, or they're really climbing the ladder at work, like, like moving up. The sun with La Coachella. So I do feel like this person, they may be fair skinned, but they get very tan. Okay. Very, very tan. They never show up empty handed. Mm. And the ring with virtual reality. I think with this card, I would say like there's something about they always have something good to offer and you could meet this person online. Okay. And then we have the crown chakra with the mice. And so this makes me really think like this individual, there's something about flowers. And I also feel like this person gets very nervous. They're very intuitive also, very intuitive. Could ask you out for sushi or seafood, okay? Let's get some initials of this future boo for you. We have the initials C, I, E, and O. All right, maybe we have a Cleo up in here. Okay, and um, I don't even know O names. Octavio is the only name that I know, and that, I don't know any other O names, so sorry. I had to do a blank. All right, we're going to go into our beautiful couples. What do we got for our couples? These are people who know they're in a relationship. Okay, what do we got for them? Let's see. They'll be back. So someone wants to come back, expect to hear from them soon. Hmm. Wonder who. Date night. Your partner really wants to get out and go out. Plan a nice date, all right? And financial issues could be getting in the way of the relationship. And someone wants to move in, move up, and move out, baby. All right? We wants to move. Someone wants to come through with it, baby. So what do you mean by they'll be back? Expect to hear from them soon. What's going on? They needed time. They were ending some cycles. They're moving forward. There's also something about timing, okay? Date night. They've been watching. They've been looking. they kind of been stalking. I told you they're watching your social media. And there was someone who had gambling issues that car not gambling, but financial issues. They're very heartbroken about it because it's making it very difficult to move forward. And you're knowing your worth and your value, and it's time to heal. It's time to appreciate how far you've come, all right? So let's look at your tarot. Sorry, I got a message. I should have turned those off. 
Things to do better. <laughs> What do we have for our beautiful couples? What is Cancer's person thinking? The three of cups. Okay, definitely a lot of like wanting to have fun, like enjoying life. Let's go out. Let's have a good time. Let's go hang out with friends. And then we have the devil on their mind. So um, I feel like maybe like when I look at this, there's something that they feel is keeping you guys apart. And it makes me think of Capricorn things like maybe overworking financial issues they see you as a ten of wands they feel like it's been very tough for you lately like you carry a lot on your back i feel like they want to get romantic they want to make an offer knight of cups coming through there's a major decision that you guys have to make and someone feels left out in the cold and that's hitting the heartbroken so there's a lot of different ways to kind of look at this. Do I think that this is a very transparent read? No, this is not like, a, oh, this is so easy. So let me pull the overall card. I have the Nine of Swords, okay? So I do feel like someone is very stressed out about a situation. Maybe somebody is overindulging in something. They, they have really bad habits. They can see that it's very difficult for you. They want to make an offer. I want to say, like, this is an ultimatum. Like, this, the, the keys and the locks and moving okay like we are really making some major decisions and there's something about maybe a financial decision that wasn't really expressed clearly we'll leave it like that all right let's see let's get this uh, clarity for you beautiful the three of cups what does the three of cups have for our beautiful cancer justice so they want something to be fair moving forward they want it to be clear and we have the queen of wands energy they love the way that you dress they want to be fair to you they're very turned on by you they love the way you dress all right what does the devil want you to know? The three of wands. I almost feel like they want more passion. They, they feel like you guys have been kind of pulled in different directions lately. Yeah, they want to get back to the ace of cups, okay? Really enjoying each other again. Because they see you super stressed out with the ten of wands. And they feel like you're bored. Four of, so four of cups. Like you're bored. You're like, I don't even want to do this anymore. You know? And they want to get back to like, let's talk about it. Be about it. All right? And there could have been like an exchange of words lately where they kind of took it to heart or you did. Knight of cups with the lovers. There is an offer of love coming in. The two of wands with the three of pentacles. A major decision about how you guys want to work this out is going to be coming to the forefront. Why is the seven of swords here? Seven of swords with the seven of pentacles. Someone is lying about something from the past. Six of cups. And they're afraid that if you find out, you're going to leave. Um, Give me one more. Nine of Swords. And it could have been out of trip. It could have been after a trip. It could be about um, miscommunication during a trip also and a possible move because I have two nines here. Then they know, they know with you, you're very cutthroat, Queen of Swords kind of vibe, that... Once you make a decision, Cancer, there's no going back on it. Like, there's no going back on this decision. So I kind of feel like your partner is really wanting that reconnection. They know they don't know how to do this. They don't know what to do moving forward. There was a little bit of either like there's issues with the kids or issues with finances, but there is a lot of love in this situation. And the devil with the lovers in the same read is telling me basically you guys are very, you have a lot of karmic energy or a lot of lessons to learn with each other. Um, and so it's going to be very important for you to work on that with the three of pentacles. Like, how do we move forward? What do we really want? I do feel like someone does overindulge in something, whether it's work, whether it's drinking, whatever it is. There's a little bit of an overindulgence and it bothers the other person. And what, there are some cancers who need to have date nights more often. OK, and that person that you met will be back. Like, it's just like they kind of need to be reminded that you even like them. Or vice versa. You might want that too. Like you need to be reminded. Let's see. Anything hidden coming in that they need to know about moving forward? Anything hidden this month when it comes to love? We have the energy of Taurus or a man. Travel with the ship for love. Moving forward with love. 
lots of communication, sharing our love with each other, but we feel like we have to kind of watch, like, almost like we're watching our words too much, but we just know that there's a lot coming to the forefront, a lot is coming to the light, and I also want to say, like, move forward with this with love in your heart, discuss things, all right, but there's also some major business discussions or uh, financial decisions that are coming up, okay, we got to talk finances, all right, we're going to talk about those. Now, let's get guidance. Let's just look at Oracle for you guys. And then we're going to move right into our beautiful all signs. Okay, what do we have here? We have the third chakra. There's a lot of, a lot of stuff with your solar plexus, so maybe stomach issues, something like that, and having confidence moving forward. Don't be afraid to leave behind things that were working good for one time, but now we need to change to a different solution to go to something bigger and better. There is a lot of anxiety that could be affecting your stomach, your stomach issues, okay? And you've been thinking, this the stomach issues is more tied to the feminine energies, so I do feel like I'm feminine if you're a lady, okay, or you, whatever, feminine energy. Um, I do think you could be having some stomach issues, and it is because of stress, okay? And the garden and the gate with adjacent possibilities, looking for other opportunities to make things better, okay? What can make this situation better, all right? And we're, we're somebody is afraid that they're going to get caught being deceitful, okay? And then we have the second chakra. So you've got to more yellow and orange in your life also. Lots of fruits and vegetables. I don't know why I want to tell you that. Like, there needs to be, like, a clearing and a cleanse of your stomach. And do not lend money this month because you won't get it back. All right? So let's get into all signs. All right? These cards. Let's see what we got going on for our beautiful cancer. Cancer. Cutting the deck. So we're really getting over heartbreak right now. So I feel like there's a little bit of betrayal coming forward. We found something out that we didn't really like too much. But we're getting over it. We're moving forward. Okay, we're trying to move forward. All right, it's not ready. I am burning up. I'm really tired too, so. <laughs> okay, your cars don't want to play today, friend. That has to be it. Let's see. Yeah. 16th could be important. Here you are. You're ready to change. You're going through transformations. And Aries is making major decisions. Two majors. I do feel like you guys are at a crossroads. And the decision is to be very clear with communication on what it is you want, need, and desire. Okay? The 12th could be important. Here you are as the Nine of Swords. You're feeling a little bit betrayed. And <laughs> Taurus said some really unkind words. The solution is, drag them. No, I'm just playing. The solution is that you need to start being who you really are. There is some, I do think that someone is moving in the situation with the double nine due to miscommunication and some unkind words from a Taurus, okay? The first could have been important. Here we are at the two of swords. You're making major decisions and Gemini is like ready to make them with you. They're like, baby, let me come with you. Let me, let me have the courage to meet you halfway, all right? No more miscommunication about finances. No more rude words. Words. I feel like we are coming to a truce. Things are getting better. The fifth could be important. Here you are as the Queen of Wands, my little boosie card. I N D E P E N D E N T. Do you know what I mean? You are feeling yourself, baby. You're feeling yourself, Cancer, and I love it. Okay. And the other Cancer is like, hey, I want to get to your level. I want to be at your level. Okay. But there's like no passion. I feel like you're you're like, oh, I can't do this. Like it's, it's too emotional. I want to have fun. The 20th could be important. And I also feel like it could have been a false start. You feel like this is going nowhere with the Knight of Pen uh, Pentacles reversed. And Leo is like, can we get married? <laughs> Solution. They're going to come get you. Like they're like, hey, you need to pick up the phone, Cancer. Okay. The fourth could be important. Here you are as the wheel, and you're moving forward, and Virgo feels very stuck in this situation, and I do think somebody is watching the other. I think Virgo's been watching you, and they're like, wow, why, what are they doing? Like, how are they getting so happy? What's going on with cancer? The eighth could be important, all right? Here you are as the king of pentacles reverse. Um, the king of pentacles reverse will do anything he wants to get what he wants. I'm just saying. 
And Libra is, they little like, oh, let me pray. Let me clear this energy. All right. Because someone is being a very my way or the highway kind of vibe. Okay. We got the emperor in there. Y'all guys are not seeing eye to eye on this situation, but Libra has a lot of love for you. Okay. A lot, a lot of love. Here you are as the Prince of Cups. You're ready to give you a cup of love. And Scorpio saying, ow, 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 let's do it. Let's do it. All right, Scorpio's coming for you, baby. And y'all, I don't know, maybe y'all had some missed words with each other. But Scorpio said, maybe it didn't work the first time. But I'm going to try it again. All right, the six could be important. Here you are as the Princess of Swords, speaking your truth, being honest, and Sagittarius is full of hopes and dreams with you. And somebody wants to get some power in this relationship. I do think there's a lot of passion coming in, too. I do think and there could be something about a ring. The first is very important. Here you are protecting yourself. Okay, you're like, you can look, but you can't touch. And Capricorn is like, I've made a choice. I'm going to do better. Because we are trying to get over a betrayal, something that hurt us really bad. The seventh could be important. We don't want to talk to you. We don't want to be with you. We don't want to be about it. We don't even talk anymore. We're not even having schmecks, okay? So Aquarius is like, look, look, look. I want, I want to, I want to do better. I want to be better. And you're like, mm, I had a dream about you. I don't want to do this. <laughs> you're so done. You're so done. All right, the Eight of Swords, there's a lot of miscommunication. You feel like you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulder. And Pisces is feeling like themselves, all hung up and unable to move forward. But hey, they want to make it right. They, they want to make things right. Whoa, whoa, the lucky day is the 11th, all right? So that's what I have for you guys. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful month. We will be doing other readings this week, depending on my schedule, because I do work a lot this month. So stay tuned and come hang out with me on IG, guys. Be blessed. Love you.